Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Does it really matter? Nah, not much. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. We've got what looks like a 1091E here for the 385. All cars have to keep on the lookout for 91E in the area. I followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. You've got an opinion then? Wouldn't say that. I go in for that innocent till proven guilty thing, even considering who they say you killed. He advised uh, medical personnel and route to heart steel, various tests in 2070. Any of that seem important to you? All of it, but that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? I got much choice? Sure don't. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. You'll have to learn to stop worrying about things you can't control. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Officers are available for incoming to one then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop, but that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. Oh, shit. This other time... <laughs> to drag myself out that window.
Officer. Hello? Anybody? Anybody up there?
coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. It's fake. Damn. Oh, Jesus. What's that beeping? Ourselves. That's a Savannah area code, but that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. There are three new messages. This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Daddy? Huh? Hello? You need to be quiet. Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No, I'm not. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Where are you? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window.
man. Hi there. Did you kill it? I don't know. I think so. Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah, thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then? You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Just some guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monsters come out. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. For just some guy, it seems like you saved a bunch of lives today.
Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you, then. You've brought a couple guests. We, uh, need a place to stay. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So, it's just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah. It's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? I, I fell, trying to get away from one of those things. That's so. What type of danger has the girl seen? The kind there's a lot of. She had a few lonely days with nothing but the dead keeping her company. I still just can't imagine it. Consider yourself lucky. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um, looking after her until we, uh, find her parents. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay.
Hey, get up. Mm. I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in no offense. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I wanna build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. You have such pretty hair. It gets lots of tangles. Hey there, girls. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow. But even then, I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in the right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, um, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? So, uh... What do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. That's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No. I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. 
So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. Uh, we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See you. <laughs>